I'm Megan Horneman, the Chief Investment Officer for Verdant's Capital Advisors. Five years ago, we released our first version of Bitcoin and Bubbles when we explained the phenomenon that was occurring in 2017 with the cryptocurrency market. We had seen um, Bitcoin itself up over 1,800% in one calendar year. And what we started to see during that time period was that fear of missing out, that speculative drive to invest in this cryptocurrency market. Here we are five years later, and we're going to discuss what we've seen as far as how this market has evolved and what we see going forward. In December of 2017, we saw mass speculation in a product that had no store of value, no way to fundamentally analyze it, no regulation, and was a common place for illegal activity. Um, at one point in 2021, there were over 8,000 cryptocurrency tokens. Um, we've seen uh, billboards, we've seen actors, we've seen sports um, athletes, people flocking to this investment and endorsing this, and even some people referring to this as the future of money. Now, what we're seeing this year is the complete co collapse of this, this speculative investment in what's being called the crypto winter. Um, what was once a market cap of over $3 trillion is now less than a, than a trillion dollars. Uh, where there were over 8,000 different coins being traded in the market, there's now less than 4,000. Um, there's a lot of reasons why this speculative bubble has, has burst. Um, primarily, it's the end of easy money. So speculation tends to go as easy money goes. And right now, we're seeing the second layer of that bubble bursting, and we're seeing the exchanges that traded these tokens or these coins, these are starting to fall one by one. We're witnessing what the lack of regulation has done, where we have mismanagement of funds, fraud, and now we're seeing criminal charges take place as well as these high profile exchanges are failing. In our original Bitcoin and bubble piece in 2017, we warned that one of the biggest risks to the, the entire cryptocurrency market was the lack of regulation. And we're seeing that with these high profile bankruptcies. And unfortunately, money has just evaporated from the system for investors. But also some of the things that were promoted for the cryptocurrency market have failed to materialize. Remember when it said that um, the cryptocurrency market would be able to replace the US dollar? Well, this year alone, the dollar is up more than 10%. And if you look at the broad crypto market, it's down more than 80%. Um, do you remember when it was called an inflation hedge? Well, there again, 2022, I think the key word in the market has been inflation. And look at what's happened to the cryptocurrency market. And lastly, a lot of people talked about how it was a safe investment. Some people referred to it that it was safer than being in a bank. But what we've seen this year alone is more than $9 billion worth of fraud in the cryptocurrency market. It's the largest amount of fraud that we've seen since the cryptocurrency market has really developed. There's a very important distinction to make here, and that is between blockchain and the cryptocurrency market. Um, blockchain was simply the foundation that helped the cryptocurrency market evolve. But blockchain itself has a lot of significance to how we can operate more efficiently from a business perspective um, around the world. Uh, take, for example, shipping. You know, instead of shipping being on all these different computer networks and databases, imagine one decent centralized database that tracks all shipping, this can be highly efficient for the shipping market. It has benefits in financials, in technology. All of these things are things that we're monitoring. Just remember that blockchain itself does have a future where cryptocurrency's future is very cloudy at this point. We continue to discourage investing in the cryptocurrency market, um, not just because of what happened, what has happened this year, but because we think regulation is going to be a major issue in 2023. Um, there's been way too many high profile cases this year, way too much money lost. And I think that the government's behind the ball from the cryptocurrency standpoint. Now, the blockchain is something we're monitoring on a regular basis because we do think that has a long-term benefit. We won't go into all the details on how blockchain exactly works. Um, well, that's a whole separate white paper. But we do think that this has a fundamental value for the future of our economy. And we'll continue to monitor, monitor that for ways to invest in it. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your financial advisor.